Hello everybody, welcome to the Simple Interest example video. Now, I'm going to be going through four key examples here where we would have to find an interest, the principal, the rate that the bank is offering and the time of the investment. Let's go through the first example. Linda deposits $1,000 in an account that earns 10% interest per annum. Calculate the interest payment on a three year simple interest deposit. So let's write out all our variables, all the known variables. Principal is $1,000. Your simple interest rate is 10% per annum. And the time is three years. Let's draw out our diagram on the left. I, P, R, and T. Now we can see that we're missing one variable, which is I. So we know we need to find the interest, the interest payment. So what is our formula after we shade out the interest? PRT. So we know to find the simple interest amount, we must get the principal multiplied by the simple rate of interest multiplied by the time. That's 1,000 multiplied by 10% multiplied by 3. The simple interest payment is then $300. Let's go through another example. George is going to pay an interest amount of $50 on a six month loan. Calculate the loan amount with a 10% simple interest rate. Let's write out our variables. Principal, is it there? No. So let's put a question mark next to it. The interest amount is 50. The time is six on 12 years and your interest rate is 10% per annum. Sorry about that, a little bit of lisp. Now let's draw out our diagram on the left. I, P, R and T. What are we trying to find? What don't we have? Our principal. So let's shade that out. What we have left is our principal equals the interest payment on the rate multiplied by the time. Interest is 50. Our rate is 10% multiplied against your time. 6 on 12. Your answer is then $1,000. Now let's go through a more interesting example. John has been promised $50 of interest for his deposit on the 14th of April till the 25th of June of $5,000 with QWE Bank. What rate of simple interest is John earning per annum? Now this is an interesting question because your T is not given by month, week, semi-annual, it's given in dates. So in other words, your variable t must be actually calculated. We don't know t yet. So let's calculate this. So the investment started on the 14th of June and it ended on the 25th of June. Now the rule with calculating the number of days between dates is that you can go about it in two ways. Firstly, you can count your first day. So you can include beginning date or you can include your last day. You cannot do both. You cannot do both. Now I personally I like I like to include the last day and I don't like to include the beginning day. So let's let's go with how I like to do it. Let's include the last day. Yeah, so the 14th of April. So let's first figure out what is April. How many days in April? 30. Minus 14 because I don't want to include the first day. So it is April. Plus May. And there's 30 days in May. 
plus 25 for June because I'm including the last day of June. What is that? 71 days. And therefore, my T is 71 on 365 days of the year because my rate is going to be per annum. Right? So T is 71 on 65. We know we don't know the rate. We know the principal, which is $5,000. And we know the interest that is paid, which is 50. Let's draw out our little diagram. I have this separated just in case we get confused. A diagram. I on P R T. Now we need to find the simple interest rate. So let's shade that out. And what we have left is your simple interest rate is equal to your interest on your principal multiplied by T. So it is 50 on 5000 multiplied by T, 71 on 365. Now if you put this into your calculator, your answer is 5.14% per annum. Now that is how you would do it. Let's go through our last example. Thomas has a savings of $1,000 at OOU Bank. The bank provides a simple interest rate of 10% per annum. How long in months must Thomas invest for in order to earn $50 of simple interest? Let's write out our variables. Thomas has a savings of $1,000. Straight away, that's your principal, isn't it? Simple interest rate of 10% per annum. 10% per annum. And... He wants to earn $50 worth of simple interest. So that's that's your interest. 50. We must be trying to find time. A diagram on the left, as always. I love this diagram. Interest on top. Got your principal. You got your rate. And you got your time. And we want to find the time. So what's left? Time must equal to interest on principal multiplied by rate. This is 50 on principal, which is 1,000, multiplied by your rate, which is 10% per annum. That is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 what? Years. Now, the question wanted it in months. So what is 0 0.5 years in months? Six months. And that's how you would do that question. Now I hope you enjoyed this video, those are the four examples.